you talking over here? Hello, Pasco. Thank you for coming out Thursday night, comedy night. Yes. Uh, thank you. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to see everyone here. We have a thin night today. But that's okay. Yeah, those people are in the back. They're supposed to be here. But it's still very happy to be here. Okay. And about Pasco. Today you guys have a snow, right? This morning? And yesterday? Wow, April, April snow, what is going on? It's like two months late. You had snow, like your snow have a supply chain issue? <laughs> What's going on here? Yeah. <laughs> it should happen in January, February, right? Yeah. I know because January, February, I work, at the time I still have a work, we're talking about drought. You know, we're out drought. Is the light supposed to be? <laughs> <laughs> Blind my eyes on me? <laughs> Alright, good. I just now gonna look at this light. Uh, but that's good. Now we finally get some snow. You know, even late is better than nothing. So maybe that's not for you. You know what? It's a snow. People are not coming. Man. You think it's a snow? Yes, yeah, they're not coming. Uh, but I'm happy to be here though. I, I drove two hours, okay, from uh, Spokane. Thank you. Uh, now you can see me, I can see the thing. <laughs> Good, uh, yeah. I'm happy to be here. We still get this uh, Thursday night the comedy going week after week and after week. Yeah, and over there, you're my wall people. Right? Yeah. yeah, thank you. Those are our Mexican wall people. <laughs> oh, from here, what about me? Oh, my right God. So over here, I just feel like looking at me like, what the frick? Is this an Asian looking woman or lady if you're nice that doing up there? You know? No, you're not thinking that? Yeah. But I'll tell you, I am the host. Yeah, for the how comedy here, I am the host. You know, and I know, thank you, thank you, I am the host. But if you're still wondering who I am, I uh, what I'm doing here, I don't blame you. Because even my friend a few months ago says, Ask me, yeah, hey, why you wanted to call me? Yeah, why you wanted to call me? Right. Because I don't want to steal American jobs. <laughs> Is that good reason? Yeah, because so far, call me and paid me like free beer, free dinner, you know, and some pocket change. Yeah. But then I pass over here, they actually pay me some money, you know? Like $50 tonight. That's a little bit better than pocket chain, right? Yeah, I feel like I'm respecting that. I, I feel, yeah, I feel excited. I feel excited to do a comedy and they pay me $50 and uh, so good, I feel so good. I quit my day job, wow. <laughs> April 1st, right, I, I picked that day, April 1st. I quit my job, so now I'm full time doing like $50 a night or something. You know, hope they pay bills, right? Um, so Monday, uh, after I quit my job, was my last week something Monday, I feel so good, and, oh, finally I can uh, slip in. You know, finally I can drink coffee on my own time. <laughs> you got it? Yes. But then 10 minutes in, right? If the reality sets in, it just hit me, it's like, wow, really? You mean I don't get paid while I'm drinking coffee? Yeah, maybe I should rethink this. You know what I'm saying? April 1st, April Fool's Day, I made that decision. Can I get my job back? But uh, that's okay. Today is uh, April 14th. So 13 days later, I am now regretting it, okay? Now regretting, still quitting my job. I mean quit, gone, gone, no. So I'm gonna worry about pay bill next month, all right? Thank you, Pasco. Right line for $50 tonight. That's pretty good. <laughs> So even we have a thin night uh, snow, these people, these are quitters. Just snow, stop them coming, what is going on, you know? But thank you for everybody here coming tonight. Uh, we have a great show for you tonight. We have two comedians from all the way from Tacoma. Drove all the way today from in the snow and the wind. Yeah, coming here to show for you guys. We had a great show, but uh, we have a rules though, okay? Just relax. Uh, have them entertain you and don't haggle our comedians and uh, make sure tip our server. 
Because our company, we're cheap. We're five bucks. I know you have money, right? You have money. Good. Uh, ready for some joke? I'm telling some joke. Uh, my name is Yi. I'm looking for Yen. Uh, I mean, I've been saying that for a while. You know, by that I mean, I'm not picky. Just trying to get laid. Costco might be the place I can finally find a Yen. Because I've been single mother for eight years. That's a long time. My name is Yen. You know. <laughs> The show, we'll talk. <laughs> but I'm from Spokane, right? I said that. I lived in Spokane 26 years. I I did it. Just to prove I am not a tourist. I am here to stay. Yes. But originally I'm from China. Did I just say that? I'm from China, so by now you can tell. I speak very happy Alabama accent, y'all. <laughs> Bless your heart, y'all. Yes, thank you. Uh, I'm a single mother. That's another thing I'm going to let you know. The single mother are two part. I find out. Okay, eight years single mother life. The mother part and the single part. Okay, I tell you, so I have a struggle. I'm juggling, right? Like during the day, I'm juggling to be a tiger mom. So at night, I try to be a cougar mom. The problem is, I got no cougar. I just sleep by myself. I want a cougar, right? Yeah. But looking for yet. Remember that? Looking for yet. Yeah, looking for yet. Yeah. Uh, so the, this part, part of part, though, is like, I feel like I'm playing a lot of roles, right? Like, I have to play with like mom and dad, and sometimes more. You know, like uh, during the pandemic, my son just decided, my son 17, uh, turned 17 during the pandemic, and he just uh, started deciding to call me bruh. Oh, bro, yeah. What's up, bro? Like, first, I don't know how to react. That, that after a while, I realized, bro, was a promotion from home. Because he had been to call me homie for like a year after he turned like junior high. So like, okay, bro is a closer. I just went, wow, I'm, you know, the mothers, we're all like suckers for promotion. Right? So like, okay, bro's fine. So every day, the bro this and bro that. You know, like, Taco Tuesday, can I get some 10 bucks, bro? Thank you for the taco over there. Yeah. My son's favorite food. Yeah, and, and the only time he calls me mom is that uh, he comes home and says, what's for dinner, mom? Is dinner ready, mom? So when I hear that, it's like, I was like, I don't know, bro. Yeah, why don't they cook your own dinner, bro? So he has me eating a lot of ramen noodles. I just try to get him ready for college. Yeah. And then last year, 2021, actually he graduated from uh, from high school. So before he went to a college, he's now in college, University of Washington in Seattle. Wow. Yeah, be, yeah. Before he went, we went shopping. I I get him a credit card already, so he won't uh, ask me for money anymore. And uh, he need to buy his shoes and pants and everything. So in the department store, he picked everything at the cashier. So like I expect him to pay. Then he look at me. I look at him, and he said, that's on you, dog. <laughs> so like, now I'm dog. <laughs> so I was at the, at the spot, I don't know, I don't know if this dog thing is good or bad. I, I asked the cashier, like, is the dog good or bad? The cashier said, definitely it's good, it's good. Hey, hey. <laughs> she didn't want you to pay. I said, okay, now I got promoted again. Yeah. From bro, now I'm dog. So I, I paid, man. Yeah, we're suckers. For the for promotion from your kids. Um, so anyway, and then the single part. I said the single part. I don't want to talk about it because we're like seven o'clock. It's not late night. I'm gonna say my single part to the late night show. It's pretty nasty. You know? Single part. It's not good. It's not good. Okay. I skip that part. Uh, anyway, uh, how's what is going on with the mic? <laughs> Okay, got it, got back. Uh, how's my English so far? My Alabama accent is good so far? Yeah. <laughs> I tell you, I came here to the United States as a student. I went to a graduate school here. When I first got here, oh my God, my English was awful. It was awful. I still remember that day. They're on an the airplane before I landed in Seattle. That first day, right? So on the plane, before we land, they asked us to fill out the form. You know, the immigration form, so I fill out the form. And then, so like foreigners go to that window after you land it. So we, I went to that window, 
and give the uh, immigration officer my form, immigration form, and she look at the form, she look at me, and she was not happy. She called it, look at what you got in there. I look at the form, you know, the first is name, they ask me the birthday, then they have a sex. What I had down there, it says once a month. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it was awful. I, I think, you know, they really, but then later I realized, you know, that they really have, should have put down gender in there. But then I realized that's going to open another can of worm if you ask for gender, right? Because we're gender fluid right here in this country. So, but I'm just trying to be honest. God, once a month, I'm not that greedy. I mean, my God, but that was wrong, that was wrong. But I don't think they should blame me because look, your, your, your language, okay? It's like, blow job. Doesn't mean blow. It means a suck a dick. <laughs> so, your English is amazing, guys. Give it up to yourself, okay? Your English is good. Confuse the shit out of me. <laughs> okay, but I don't know what is going on here. Uh, I can't say this thing, but okay. Another thing, another thing, the Chinese people, we cannot say, you know, like the bite your tongue. We cannot say that word. I remember one time, a uh, podcast uh, interview me, like, how's your son doing? I'm like, uh, my, my son is Ashley. The, the host says, I'm sorry to hear your son, Ashley. I said, no, 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 my son is not like he's Ashley. He's like, right, yeah, I'm sorry to hear your son's Ashley. Finally, I realized the problem because we cannot say, so like, no, 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 my son's ass does not leave. He is athletic. <laughs> they think I'm saying my son ass leak. No. He's athletic. Man. I practiced two hours to get my tongue out. I can't say that. So like, ass, ass leak, ass leak. Oh. So, yeah, let's get the show started. You know, uh, you guys come here to make this room warm up, and uh, my job is to warm up this mic as a host. So, it's pretty warm now, right, Mike? So, let's get the show started. I want to bring out our first comic comedian tonight. Um, he's from all the way from Tacoma, and Jess Everett. He's been doing uh, comedy for many years, so let's give a warm up. Warm welcome, Jess Everett. What's up, Pasco? How is everybody? We good? We good? All right. I, uh, I've never masturbated in such close proximity to 